going to read from my uh, new book, uh, recently published by the Operating System, The Furies. And I'm going to read from the uh, uh, final poem in that book, a lengthy poem called Lincoln in Queens. Lincoln in Queens is a tale. This tale has seven segments called Iron, Unemployed, A Vision, Depression, Journey, The Furies, and Offering. I'm only going to read the first two of those. <laughs> Iron. Both my grandfathers worked in the mills, steel workers. My father was an unemployed steel worker when I was born. The clangor and night fires, the vast old mills along the rivers, swore to me in fearful curses that the earth is iron and poor. Steel mills burned the earth in my eyes. Long trains loaded with coal or slag made my home on a hill over the mill. Orange smoke from blast furnaces billowed above Steel Valley. Polluted rivers ran yellow and sluggish. Men ate their earnings from a lunchbox. I am of the race of iron, still living in the Iron Age. Do I have to work at a blast furnace? Do I have to make steel in a big barn-like foundry between railroad tracks and the river? The oldest poems that survive condemn the race of iron to work and waste. Our hearts are owned forever by war and the war debts of our fathers, chanted the savages. The people of iron destroy. We tear and burn the earth. So we dreamed our fate into development. Or so the first poems say, the author of the birth of gods says that in his second song, The Workday. I don't believe it, I think it's primitive. In World War II, my father blew up ships on the huge moon reflected on the Pacific Ocean. He was a bombardier in a black painted night raider and navy plane with pontoons. They hid by day in bays of New Guinea. After the war, he got a job in the mill, but the work was dirty and hot with many layoffs. My father left the mill. He got a job with the fire department. He drove a red fire truck into danger. He drove the pump truck at number four station. I inherit firefighting, too, as my job in Iron City. It's a strenuous confusion. The Iron Age rages with furnace fires. Unemployed. My job is the most evil ever, according to Plato. I write poems about politics, not from logic, but from inspiration. I excite myself and spurt disruptive fantasies all over the social fabric, in danger to the state and order. But here's the irony, iron E, iron I, the I run of insight. I dream of hidden logic. I speak of ancient things because I search them for inspiration. They are the wild wine I share with you. I violate another of Plato's rules for Western civilization. I should not know so goddamn much about the rules. I am of the race of iron. In a republic, we must be taught with myths to do the work. We must believe we were born in the earth to work with dirt. We should only hear about daylight from people of gold. I have no gold in my nature, just red dirt. With a resume like that, I was, of course, out of work, like my father at my birth. Thank you. Oh.